Good morning guys, it's Unfrequented World and finally I'm back out in the field. It's been a couple of weeks, uh, just been super busy at the house with chores. And uh, today when I looked out and saw that big old wood pile there, I just thought, eh, chores or metal detecting. And so here I am. Uh, the wife would say that I should be cutting wood in the morning and when it rains this afternoon I could go metal detecting because my gear is waterproof. I would argue that metal detecting or cutting wood in the rain both suck and I'll probably be on the couch napping. To uh, save my marriage I would never say that, um, but that's probably what's going to happen. So here we are out in the nice beautiful sunshine this morning and we're going to metal detect. Um, back at the site where we found the 1935 nickel, um, today we're going to try to use the Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro to go a little deeper and see if we can't find some older coins and items. Uh, I don't have a lot of time today so that's why we're back here at this spot. I have no updates on the uh, old trapper's cabin. My dad has been uh, out of town working up at the camp trying to get it ready for summer and the kids and putting in a new dock and everything so we haven't had time to do that adventure but uh, just for the sake of getting out uh, this spot will do for today. First hole and uh, we've got a reading down nine inches and the machine wouldn't give me any details on it so that's kind of what I'm looking for today. Uh, things that are right on the edge of detection that we don't know what they are and this is a well manicured field and every other time I've been here uh, I had my old shovels and I was afraid to use the shovels and cut a nice clean plug here. Now with the little digger today we're uh, confident enough that I can keep a nice um, clean cut because it's only you know three and a half four inch blade on there that we're going to try using that today and it should speed up my time here a little bit. Well there it is guys nine inches down I'm surprised that didn't show me any iron uh, on the machine but not a great start but it is a start. <sighs> Strike two. Yes what would you say that looks like? I would say a rock. If you said that you would be correct. However Strike three. <laughs> Didn't think I could get any worse than an old nail. Uh, as you guys can see the black flies are getting me even out here in the field where there's a nice breeze. They're just chewing me up. Uh, fourth hole, first coin signal. And it's probably just a penny. It wasn't that deep, it was reading six inches, so... Oh my god, it's not even a coin. Of course it's a wire connector. I knew that. Hey, strike six. That was reading zinc, but I thought, uh, you never know, maybe a zinc penny? No. Okay, so I'm just uh, digging away on hole number seven here. And I got a shout from the guy over at the house. He says, look out. And there's a big old tom turkey come running across the field towards me. And Buddy says, he's aggressive. <laughs> Nothing like enticing an attack here. Keep moving! These things were actually uh, reintroduced here in Northern Ontario over the last 10 years. They started down south. Uh, we haven't had turkeys here in 75 years, so... That's right, Bubba. You just keep going your direction and I'll go mine. Oh, hey, I said the other direction. Okay, there's hole number seven, guys. Uh, although it's a little more interesting, I don't know what it is. It's uh, not what we're after. Looks like some kind of old shower curtain uh, ring or something like that. Uh, there's nine inches and 13 inches, respectively, so time to move on to a new area. Oh, we've moved over and it's looking up already. Hey, it's not a nail. Ooh, shiny. Well, seeing as the metal detecting is uh, pretty much a strikeout this morning so far, I thought we'd take a minute and sit here in the field and discuss today's rant, which is patronage. All you YouTube channels out there that are asking people for money and memberships and all that, you know what? That's retarded. I'm sorry. We should be sharing our knowledge. You're not making money off your hobbies, guys. I mean, I put up a YouTube video, I might make 30 cents in three months. You know, I mean, that doesn't even cover my gas for 
a tenth of the trip. So what's the point? And I was raised in a community where you worked hard for everything you wanted and if you wanted something you saved your money and you went out and bought it. I go online and I have channels that I've been watching for a long time and I bet you three out of ten channels guys are asking for money and donations in this. I'm not going to subscribe anymore to those guys so I'm going to make a promise to you guys that on my channel you'll never see a patronage button or a sponsor me or a give me money for my sick baby or absolutely ridiculous. I think if you want something work hard get out there save your money and buy what you want. Asking complete strangers is it's it's a joke it's I don't know and for all of you guys that I am subscribed to that have put up these buttons and are asking for money or even mentioning it guess what I'm unsubscribing. I just think that's the most asinine thing. You know what? If I want new gear, I buy new gear. So, all of you guys that are watching the channel, that's my promise to you. You'll never see me ask you guys for a cent. If I want a cent, I'll get out here in the field and try to find it. Oh, the rune of my once beautiful arm. Black flies. There's a hole down about seven inches. I was getting the faintest little signal there. And uh, we did find something. It's a very small piece of foil. So I want to give a shout out to my Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro. In case you guys have been living under a rock, haven't watched my other videos. This machine is a monster when it comes to depth. Uh, it blows my uh, Garrett AT Pro away. There is no comparison. This thing will detect uh, items down to, you know, 14 inches sometimes for a nail, things like that and a very difficult machine to start with to learn uh, unless you're leaving it on coin mode or something but you're not going to have the success that you will when you put it in all metal mode so there are a few different modes you can play with I found the Garrett a lot easier just to pick up and go but it doesn't pick up signals like this thing I can't go a foot and a half without picking up a signal here in the field and there is something there always um, it might be small and it might be really deep, but there is something there where the gear will just gloss right over that and I don't get any kind of signal at all. So, Whew, finally guys, a coin. Been a long time coming. It's a dime. And it's a 1985, so no silver there. What the heck is that? Cup? Medieval? Maybe. The straps worn off. That's what it was. You're a liar, Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro. You said five cents. That is not five cents. If I only had a nickel for every time you told me that I had a nickel, I would be a rich man. Should be a penny in here. It was a solid 66 uh, signal. And there it is. Well, there's the cap off of a shotgun shell. It looks really old, but it's hard to tell. So it's a Hot Wheels 1977 and if we flip it over and look at the back of this some kid actually painted his own number on there 45. Okay so I got something here looks like a coin but uh, small I don't know. I guess it is just a dime. Yeah. <laughs> so we moved over a foot, guys, and here's another dime. 1968. I'll we'll have to check that when we get home. That could be half silver. There we go. Another penny. Oh, that one's got a good ding in it. And that is a lead-fired bullet. I've seen a few of those in previous digs, so it uh, didn't take long to figure out what that actually was. Oh guys, by the looks of my arm, and I'm feeling a little faint, I'm low on blood, it's time to get out of here, that's enough for one day. <laughs> uh, as pathetic as it is, that's today's haul, uh, I don't think I've had a day as uh, non-lucrative as that, but uh, we got out, we donated some blood, and we had fun. And I'm going to remember to check that dime when I get home. It's 1968. Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, that's the kind of day I'm having. No silver there. 
Well, there it is cleaned up, guys. They really got me good. Both my arms look the same as that. Any outdoor work this time of year? Part of being Canadian.